it's starting to slow down. Do you think it's overheating maybe? I don't know. Maybe it's getting too much sugar in there. Since we have tried to do multiple batches in this, figuring it out, how it works, there's a good chance it could be clogged with sugar at this point. Guys, welcome back to our Christmas Day Part 2. This is gonna be a fun video. We're gonna try out all the gifts we just opened up. Girls, are you ready? I'm ready. Ready, so what are we gonna do first? Nine bots. Nine bots. Those are the scooters we gotta put together while we were filming the first video. But we gotta lift them out of there. The girls want some help. That is why they have came up here to get me to go down there. Claire's just doing a little bit of jump roping with the banding that came around the box. All right, let's go get these scooters. As soon as we get them up here, we're gonna need shoes. Ready? Let's get down there. We have to pair them to our phones before that. Oh one. man, I was so excited. Now we have to pair them to our phones. I know. Jeez. I don't even know why we have to pair them. All right, let's go get them. We gotta leave this rug though right here because we have the vacuum going and it's a barrier. It's a, don't go down the stairs, vacuum. I want you to trip over it. Right, got it. Here we go. We still have a large amount of boxes. <laughs> but it's at 95, so we're just gonna do Mine's it. Mine's at 85. There we go. All right, put back together. Oh, yeah. Turn it around. Don't turn the light on. They turned the light in my eyes earlier and I'm having a hard time seeing. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. It's got a giant battery in there. We got the nine bots connected so they'll finally work. They have to connect to a phone to get them all set up. And uh, the girls are just out here. I came out here to do a safety check to make sure they're all good to go. It looks like they do have helmets. Carmen's trying to put it up. Will you loosen it? Her coat on first. Let her help because it's kind of cold. Yes, I can loosen it for you. All right, we've got the helmet back on. We've got the speed what? turned up. Apparently, it was only on about like 10 to 15 miles per hour, which I thought was fine. But the girls just want to go fast, so they're going to turn it up a little bit. On the deep uh, one down this like, little hill, I got to 25 miles per hour. 25 miles an hour? Yeah, down there. Are you serious? Yeah. They're, they're pretty so fast. Hard. have maxed them out at 30 miles per hour they said it's a little bit fast for them so they've got it dialed back down a little bit and so they're having a lot of fun on them here they come again i bet they're almost done because it is windy out here it is extremely cold oh yeah go carm claire bear i need to get my gloves out of the car because my hands are freezing <laughs> i'm freezing standing out here filming you it's cold. It is pretty chilly outside, so the girls have came back inside from riding their scooters. Those things are a ton of fun, and I can't wait till it warms up outside so I can hop on it and cruise around the neighborhood. Are you guys gonna share your scooters with me? <laughs> if you don't die on them. I won't die on it. I am a great scooter rider. Uh, hopefully <laughs> your knee will be better so you, you can ride them. That's true. I'll have to for my knee to get better. We have broke out the sweet cotton candy machine and we're getting this thing fired up. So Claire, this thing has to warm up for 10 minutes, right? Before you dump the sugar in there. So she's just dumping that in there. Yep. And then you just twist it over the top. You just twist it and Get sugar it. starts to fly like cobwebs, huh? Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. So how long has it been heating? Not 10 minutes. Not 10 minutes? Well, so that's why it's not making any cotton candy yet. How was the scooter, Carm? It was fun. Did it so, go super fast? Yeah, so we were only doing it on the first mode and we were confused on how to get it onto a faster mode. And then Claire double clicked it because that's how you do it on my friends and we got it. And there's D and S besides Eco. I think it's Eco or Echo. I don't know. Ooh, so they go super fast? Yeah. So, so one goes 15, one goes 25, one goes 30. Holy smokes. 30 miles an hour is way too fast. Oh, it's making candy now. Wow, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So what flavor are we making? We got the blue raspberry? Boo blue. Boo blue. That's what we got going on. And this one's pink vanilla. That's actually really cool. Mm -hmm. I was a little bit nervous about this thing actually producing cotton candy, but so how much does it make? So um, we have to add a couple scoops to make it big. So it takes a couple scoops to get that thing really big, huh? Yeah. I would say two to three scoops. Yeah, but you can only do a scoop at a time or else it'll... So well, can you mix the flavors? Yeah, yeah. we do it all the time. 
So the girls have been playing with this thing for the last little bit here, trying to figure it out, and we finally have it figured out to where we're making big mounds of cotton candy, and it's pretty dang awesome. This is gonna be a great money maker for the girls this summer. I know all the neighborhood kids are gonna want it, and Grand and Carmen will build us out their little stand and make these with the ices, right? Keeps one scoop. This oh, is yeah. one scoop. And there's still more coming. So like one scoop makes a pretty big ball of cotton candy. I like mine pink. You do? Yeah, I'm wearing pink. I want pink. And it's like starting to fall. <laughs> still just coming out of there. It's big. Here it is. Okay. Ta-da! I want mine pink. Wow. I don't know about yet. That's like as big as the one you get at the fair. I know. It's still coming. Yeah, there's big scoops. They're so good. Can we make mine? Because I'm not good at it. All right, Carmen, we're going to make a pink one for you. Okay, Claire, show us how to make a pink one for Carmen. Okay. So we have to turn it off for a second. Turn it off, pour it in, and turn it back on. And then you start rolling. Okay. That thing starts producing cotton candy pretty dang quick. Yep. We used to do it a different way and it didn't work. I'm not good. Yeah, at it's this. taken a little bit of trial and error to figure this out. So we tried to go like this and it did not work. It, it just made it super work. compact. Carmen's cotton candy's coming along nicely. It's starting to slow down. Do you think it's overheating maybe? I don't know. Maybe it's getting too much sugar in there. So the instructions did say that if it stops making cotton candy, then it's probably clogged with sugar. And since we have tried to do multiple batches in this, figuring it out how it works, there's a good chance it could be clogged with sugar at this point. What do you think, Trevor? Yeah, it might be a little bit clogged. <laughs> you might need to take it apart and clean it and then try again. All right, Carmen, let's see it. How'd it turn out? It's good. It looks delicious. I like to fluff it up so it's easier to eat. Fluff it up and... <laughs> Whoa. Take it off and you just compact it into a little bowl. Oh my gosh. It's yummy because it tastes like cotton candy popcorn. Cotton candy. <laughs> Squish it into a ball and it turns into cotton candy popcorn. Yep. And then look, uh, on the outside ridge. Yeah, it collects all that melted sugar in there. Mm -hmm. Looks kind of cool. Yeah, it does. We're gonna have to clean this out. We got lots of sugar in there. Claire and Carmen have had an absolute blast with a few of their gifts they've gotten out. The cotton candy machine is a huge hit and the scooters have been a huge hit so far this morning. I'm gonna run downstairs and check on Owen. I know he wanted to get his weight bench set up super fast and get using that thing. He's actually been using my little decorative bench that belongs right here where the Christmas tree is for the past, I don't know, six months or so as his weight bench. And he actually ended up breaking the leg off of it. Thankfully, Clay was able to fix that. So now he has his own weight bench. He no longer has to use my bench that it was actually for decor. <laughs> and he is gonna get more weights to go with that eventually and hopefully get a little kind of a gym set up in his bedroom. That's really what he wanted for Christmas. Owen quickly put this bench together. He's got the whole thing already done. It came together really fast. Was it hard? No, it was like basically everything was on here. I just had to attach the legs and then the padding. I don't know what that's called. The top part? Yeah. Wow, looks really nice. That'll be... When you unscrew this stuff, it takes forever, but you unscrew it to like move the incline or decline. Oh, so you can lift that up. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Sweet. You can sit on it and do different exercises that way. Nice. I might have to use this. It'll definitely work a lot better than my bench right here that you've been using all uh, this time. I think it's perfect. <laughs> So he's got himself some little hand weights over here. Actually, a lot of those are mine, but he inherited them. So yeah, maybe we will have to get like a bar and stuff like that that can go with this for your birthday or something. That would be super cool to have. Mm -hmm. A little bit more versatility with it. But for now, I think it's gonna be great. That weight bench will be a great addition to the workout stuff that we're wanting to get. We have an extra spare room right here that's just kind of a storage room. There is a ton of stuff in there that we can get rid of. There's a kitchen that our kids have had since they were super tiny. They've outgrown it. I'm ready to get rid of it. And hopefully we can put some more workout stuff in place of that kitchen and get it kind of set up to where the boys have a spot to work out, where Clay and I could come and work out and not have to go to the gym every time we wanna work out. We have had such an incredible Christmas. We are truly, truly blessed, and we're so grateful for all of you for being here, supporting our family, being kind to us every single day with your comments and all the gifts that you send. We truly, truly appreciate it, and it's just been such a great year. We're looking forward to another great year, and we hope you guys will come along and hang out with us each and every day. We have so many fun things coming up with our trip to Florida. We're super excited about, so 
Be sure to come back, hang out with us every day. We love you guys and we'll see you back here tomorrow.